Hi, I am Abed, a developer at MathWorks. In this video, you will learn how to import variables from your custom file formats and run parallel simulations in Simulink. Consider this suspension model. It has parameters defined in the base workspace. You might want to simulate this model using different sets of variable values in your calibration, testing, or debugging workflows. And these sets of values could be stored in an Excel file, a CSV file, or some other custom file formats. In this example, we have stored different sets of values in Excel files. Although we have used only a few variables, in more likely situations, your models will use many more variables. And you would normally write a script to load variables into the base workspace, then run your simulation. However, the base workspace centric workflow has some limitations. First, when you load a new set of variables in the base workspace, the original values are lost. Consequently, if you want to apply a second data set, you will need to restore the base workspace into the original state and then apply the second data set. Moreover, every simulation engineer needs to know how to use scripts to load data from various file formats and versions. In this video, we'll show you how to load the variables directly into a simulation input object and run simulations without changing the base workspace. First, you need to write an adapter that can load data from your custom file format. To do this, create a class that derives from the base adapter class and implement the required functions. In addition, you can implement optional functions to validate your file or define logical divisions for the data in the file. Usually, such adapter will be written and supplied by a tools team for company-wide consumption. Here is an example of an Excel adapter that we will use to load variables for our suspension model. For this adapter, we have chosen to logically divide the data in the Excel file into sheets. Next, you need to register the adapter with Simulink. Generally, this should be in the project or a MATLAB startup script. After it is registered, Simulink automatically finds and uses the appropriate adapter for a given file. Now we can use the adapter to load variables from our Excel file into a simulation input object by using the load variables from external source function. Notice that the base workspace values are untouched. In addition to the file name, the function is also called with the optional argument section. Since we have defined our adapter to divide the data from an Excel file into sheets, we can use this argument to load variables from a specific sheet of the Excel file. Now we can simulate our suspension model with variables loaded from the Excel sheet by using the sim command. Let's say you have multiple such variable sets saved in different files and in different sections. We will show you how you can load all the data from different files and different sections and run parallel simulations. First, we create a cell array of file section pairs. Each row in this cell array represents the data to be loaded for a single simulation. Next, we create an array of simulation input objects. Then we load variables into each object from the external sources specified in the cell array by using the load variables from external source function. Finally, we call the parsim function with the array of simulation input objects. Note that the effect of data in each file is isolated and they do not have any effect on each other, regardless of the order in which they are specified. In summary, you can load variables from custom file formats into a simulation input object by using the load variables from external source function. You need to register an adapter with Simulink for your custom file format. We also provide built-in support for M file, MAT file, and SLDD file. Now you can give it a try and see if this will simplify your workflow to bring your custom file format data into Simulink. Thank you.